Dr. Carmen Smith, and thank you for joining the I Am Solution YouTube channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, push the like button so more people will view the wisdom and the information that's coming through. Um, I am thrilled to talk about the four strands of gratitude in this video, and it is a power station. If you can just imagine, you know, you're lifting weights and you become stronger. If you have a gratitude practice, you become stronger spiritually and you're able to attract things into your life that match that vibration of gratitude, more things to be grateful for. So um, you've probably heard of karma and karma really doesn't resonate with me, but what does resonate with me is what you put out, you will reap. So in the Bible, it says what you sow, you will reap. What you put out there energetically, you will get back. So if you're putting out these gratitude vibes and you have a gratitude practice and you are gratitude itself, then what comes into your life is more things to be grateful for. It is amazing. So in this video, I teach you how to practice gratitude. And if you can do it, your life changes. <laughs> Love you. So the first strand of gratitude everybody does, and you probably did this for Thanksgiving, and that is you give thanks for what you see in that moment and you do it once a year. So you say, thank you for the turkey. Thank you for my family. And then you wait until next Thanksgiving to be grateful. That's something that most people do. But when you want to take it up a notch, the next strand of gratitude, which is part of that one strand, is thankful for things that you can't see, like your safety, like your spleen. I can't see my spleen, but I'm thankful that it's working right now. The second strand of gratitude is actively looking for things throughout your day for things to be grateful for. And it can be a flower sticking out of a crack in a cement. You're just grateful for that sunset that you saw, but you're actively looking for things to be grateful for. And then when you go up a notch, meaning that you are energizing your energy field and you are becoming grateful, this is a important step. The third strand of gratitude is being thankful for your past. Now, when we're thankful for our past, a lot of people will look at their past and they'll have shame and guilt and victim stories. But when you're grateful for your past, your story changes. And instead of being in victim mode, you're in gratitude mode. I'm so grateful that it happened because then I was able to move out of state. I'm so grateful for this because it made me stronger. It made me understand people and emotions and myself better. So you can always find things in your past that you're grateful for. Once you change that, you have energized a lot of your body chakras, meaning you've increased your energy. And when you increase your energy in gratitude, you become more one with the universe and more one with the powers that affect good. So let's talk about the four strand of gratitude. This is the highest level. Remember, you've been doing these practices of gratitude for a long time. When you get to the fourth, you become energetically the Christ consciousness, meaning you have the same thought process, the same heart as a God being, a light being, a shining one, as they say in Native American cultures. So the fourth strand of gratitude is when you are grateful for things that you can't see. Now in traditional religion, we call that faith. This is an energy that you possess, that you are, and you're able to call forth out of gratitude the things that haven't happened yet. So for example, you call forth your healing even though the doctor has given you a diagnosis of cancer. You affirm your healing and are grateful for your wellness, your health. You see the difference? You're not begging for healing. You're not asking 
for healing. You're affirming it. You are stating that it is already accomplished and you begin to celebrate your healing long before the tests reveal that the cancer is healed. So keep in mind, you've been energetically looking for the good. You have been practicing this four strands of gratitude. And now you have come into the awareness of your power, your energetic power, and you are calling for something that regular people say hasn't happened yet or is impossible. But you see, there's nothing impossible as long as you're in that field of unity, that universal field of gratitude, because you're bringing forth the good with that energy. Now, we're living in a time where we can no longer think and act like mere mortals, because we're not and we never have been, but we've been dummied down, we've been programmed, and we've been given instructions that cause us to doubt, doubt our own power. But this gratitude practice puts you in alignment with that God energy that you've always been. This does not happen overnight. But with regular practice, you can do it. And with regular practice comes power. You're awakening the power that you are. You're awakening and stepping into the Christ consciousness.